What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a triple dragon team that got top four in Japan Nationals. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, pause the video. Pause the video. Stop doing whatever you're doing. Scroll down a little bit and subscribe to the Jeans channel. Really does go a long way. Seriously, big old shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. But uh, link down in the description below to the team creator. I do not really know his name, but I have all of his socials linked down in the description below. Huge shout out to him for actually using his team and rocking out with it in the Japan Nationals. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Eternatus over here with the pressure alongside with the Life Orb as its item. It's got Protect, Dynamax Cannon, which is one of the strongest moves up against Dynamax Pokemon. Then we got Sludge Bomb and Flamethrower for both of its coverage moves. Actually, not coverage moves. One Stab. He's also a Poison type. So Sludge Bomb for Stab, Flamethrower for coverage. Next Pokemon is going to be our second Restricted Mon. It is going to be Dialga over here. And I feel like Dialga is really, really good, especially in Trick Room, but this team doesn't really rock Trick Room. But the Algus is just a great Pokemon all around. We got Pressure, alongside with the Extra Belt, Earth Power, Roar Time, Thunder, and Steel Beam. So we got two coverage moves and two big old Sam moves. Middle left is going to be Urshifu for fighting and water Urshifu with the Unseen Fist, alongside with the Focus Sash as item. We got Certain Strikes, Close Combat, Aqua Jet for first hand priority, and Detect for our final move. Fourth Pokemon is our third dragon. It is going to be Salamence over here with Intimidate. It's got the White Herb as its item, Rocking Dual Wing Beat, Fire Fang, Dragon Claw, and Brick Break. All these Pokemon have crazy cool moveset. I'm loving it. I cannot wait to hop on that rank ladder. let to get some wins with these guys. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is in that bottom left corner. We got Umbreon over here with the inner focus alongside with the safety goggles. Then it's rocking a fairly normal moveset for any Umbreon. It's got Taunt, Snarl, Foul Play, and Moonlight. It just works so well. Cannot change it. Final Pokemon is going to be our support mon. It is going to be Wimscott over here with the Prankster alongside with that Mental Herb. We're rocking Dazzling Gleam. We got Protect. We got Tailwind. And then we have Encore to Encore Pokemon to making them use like another move. So if they're a Trick Room mon, we can actually Encore them into Trick Room. Or if they're a Fake Out mon, we can Encore them into Fake Out. So we really do like that move. I feel like it comes up clutch sometimes. But guys, there's Team Preview. If you want to rent this code for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Triple Dragons Japan Nationals team. I just realized our past two Sword and Shield videos were perfect records, so we're sitting at a six-game winning streak. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep buzzing here in battle number one. We're going up against a Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Landorus, Thunderous, Incineroar, and Regilecki. So a heavy meta squad right here. Hopefully we get rocking with it and grab ourselves a win, but it's looking tough. It definitely is looking tough. But uh, how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like going into, like, Wimscott, maybe setting up a Tailwind could definitely be good for us. And then if he wants to go into... He might go into Shadow Rider Calyrex, which could be tough. I don't want to leave my Intimidate Mon. I really do not. Because he has a Defiant Pokemon. So I might go Whimsicott alongside with Dialga. Could be solid. Could definitely be solid. Hmm. I'm leaning towards that. Whimsicott for some speed. Dialga in that back end. And then we can roll out with uh, Eternatus. Eternatus works well all around. And then uh, last but not least. Do I roll out with Salamence or Urshifu? It's one or the other here. Who am I Who am I getting after? I might go Urshifu. I like Urshifu. I just like Urshifu here. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But this one's going to be tough. I just have a feeling this one's going to be tough for us. We're going to definitely have to Dynamax Dialga, but I don't know. It's just weird. with the. It's tough going up against these meta Pokemon with the off meta Pokemon. Because, like, the heavy meta Pokemon just really just all pose a threat. They really do. Like, looking at this dude's team, it's just like, okay, he can go into Calyrex. He can go into Assassin. He can intimidate me. He can fake out me. Vegelecki's a beast. He's got Defiant Thunders. Like, dude, that's, that's a, a huge problem. They are a huge problem. But you guys know the deal. Before battle number one starts, you guys got to let me know. And for a question of the day down in the comment section down below, what dragon Pokemon is your favorite? Out of all the lovely little dragon Pokemon, since we're using a uh, triple dragon team, let me know your guys' favorite dragon Pokemon. In the comment section down below. But our opponent's going to end up leading Lando and Thunder. Okay, so Lando and Thunder is going to come out here for the lead. Um, okay. I don't mind it. We definitely need a defense boost, but I'm kind of scared of that uh, that Lando there. That Lando is definitely scaring me, man. Definitely scaring me just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I wish we had an ice coverage move. An ice coverage move would do us good right now. But at this point, I'm just going to Tailwind. And I'm just going to Dynamax. And I think I'm just going to drop a Max Steel Spike. Get a defense boost for my squad. Because... Both these guys are physical attackers, so... Unless that's a Prankster. Unless that's a Prankster, uh... Thunders. I always usually see him as Defiant. He's rocking out Assault Vest set. But, uh, sometimes... Sometimes you get a little curveball actually going here. And someone is rocking a Prankster one. But I think he's gonna Dynamax his Lando. I think I'm gonna Dynamax... Well, not, I do not think. I know I'm gonna Dynamax my Dialga. And we're gonna see how this one plays out. 
We are gonna see, but yeah, Dialga definitely has to be our Dynamax bomb. We have to get buzzed with him. Try to get off some damage. Let's get it. Let's get it. We are gonna set up a Tailwind, and then I could Encore Boom. Oh, if he's rocking Eerie Impulse, if that's a Prankster one, I might cry a little bit. If that's a Prankster one, he's definitely rocking Eerie Impulse. And we could just lose the battle right here, right now. That would be ugly. That would be so ugly. Actually, please be defiant. Okay, cool. It's gonna be a physical attacking one. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I thought it was gonna be a practice for a second. I thought you were just gonna drop a nice little eerie impulse into me. I was gonna be like, bruh, get out of my face. But uh, he ends up Dynamaxing this uh, Thundo. We're gonna Dynamax this, and this actually is a little bit better for us. I kinda like it a bit more. I think he's gonna uh, take some speed control. I think that's his plan. I think we're gonna pop a Tailwind. I think he's gonna uh, drop an Airstream and start trying to counteract our speed. And we're just gonna get after the battle that way. Let's do it. Then I do have Dynamax Cannon. I do have Dynamax Cannon, because I think he takes out one Scott here, right? Does take out one sky here. The so tailwind's gonna poke. We're gonna chip up some nice lovely damage onto this uh Lando. Maybe even KO. I don't I don't think we're gonna KO, but we're gonna do some nice damage onto it. Bang. And we do KO. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful start for us. That's a lovely start. We have the expert belt, but that 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 then had no effect. Usually I like to roll with the life orb with this guy. But yeah, we take that all day. They pick up a big time KO. He's probably going for the airstream. He does go for the airstream and he takes out my whimsy. So whimsy's gonna go down here all day. Whimsy actually survives. Never mind. We love it. We love it. Whimsicott's gonna survive due to that defense boost. That's huge. That's huge. But honestly, I probably would have rather gotten out my uh my Dynamax Cannon boy, my turn test, because that could have been huge. We have Tan went up. I could have just Dynamax Cannon straight into the him at that this point. And probably KO'd it. That could have been a huge turn for us. But of course my Whimsicott survives when when I actually want my Pokemon to die. But it's fine. He's gonna throw out his next guy. It's gonna be Zassian over here. And we are already defense boosted. So I'm just gonna pop. He's probably gonna protect. Like, if I had to guess, he's gonna protect. And I guess I'll gleam. I guess I'll gleam just to chip up some damage. And I would rather get, instead of an attack drop, I would definitely rather get a defense boost. Even though I could go for that, uh. Even though I could go for that, uh. That Max Quake, I, I figured he would protect here. So that's a good call by me. So he ends up protecting. I could Encore him next turn if he doesn't take me out. I'm just gonna go for a Steel Spike here. I'm just gonna boost defense. So that's exactly why I went for Steel Spike. I was predicting more so the Protect. So I'd rather chip up some damage here and get the defense boost. Because again, two physical attackers out on the field. It's just, it's just huge for us to get this defense boost. Gleam's gonna come out here. He's gonna get blocked by Zacian. We're gonna chip up some little bit of damage. Just a little bit onto him. Onto Thundo. And then Thundo's gonna Airstream again. Yep. He's gonna Airstream in the Wimscott. Thank you. So he airstreams into Wim's guy. Now speed's looking a little iffy. Speed is definitely looking a little iffy. And I do not know if I want to bring out my... Uh... Did I bring out my turn this year? I think I do. I think I pose a threat and I get rid of this. If I go here, I can definitely protect. Right? I can just throw a nice little protect here. And I get one from there. That could be nice. If I get rid of this Zassian. Beautiful. Save my Urshifu for the back. Just in case we need like an Aqua Jet later in the match. Could be nice. But what's your speed sitting at? You might be able to outspeed, uh. Might be able to outspeed both of them. I'm gonna roll into him. I'm gonna say he outspeeds both of them. 180? 180 in a Tailwind? I'm going for it. I'm going for Dynamax Cannon and, uh. We still have Tailwind, right? I'm going for Dynamax Cannon quick. Let me check this. Yeah, we have two turns left in Tailwind. You're 180. He's plus two on speed. You're plus one. I think that he outspeeds. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go for a quick here. That's my play. That's my play. Thunderous might be faster. I don't know. That's going to be kind of close. It's going to be kind of close. Hopefully, my Dynamax Cannon Boy gets close. That would be gorgeous. That would be lovely. But I'm thinking Zassian might be faster than Dialga plus one. I know both of these guys are probably faster than Dialga, but I think Eternatus might be faster, the fastest on the field. He is. He is. So great call by me to actually check the speeds. We get off a big old Dynamax can here. Double damage. Stab. It's Life Orb. It's big. This might KO. It's not KO, but that's good old damage. I love it all day. I do not mind if Eternatus goes down at this point. He's going to go for a Knuckle. He's going to throw it after me, and that's going to go into Dialga, right? No, it goes into Eternatus. So he just wants this attack boost, and now he's going to get after me. And I'm totally fine with this. If he goes after Dialga, my Dialga should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. This is solid for us. Definitely solid for us. He's going to go for a sub. He's going to sub up. Okay, so this thing subs and he's starting to waste some turns. And we still have speed because we still have Tailwind. So we still have speed. That's fine by me. We're going to end up quaking here. 
taking off the sub and we're gonna go from there so Eternatus is still fast on the field uh it might protect I don't know what he's gonna do hmm hmm get a nice little special defense boost even though he has a uh, physical attack on the field defense would have been nice if I knew he was subbing I would have obviously went into that but that was a great great sub call by him to actually keep his ass in alive but luckily he didn't attack so from here, let's roll into a Dynamax Cannon. What would do more damage? Probably Dynamax Cannon all around. And I could go into the Sludge Bomb, but just because Sludge Bomb is cool. <laughs> but now we're going to get a Dynamax Cannon right into you. And then uh, if I get off this EP, I'd rather drop an EP into this thing. A little EP action. I'm with it. I'm with it. What's he going to do? If he doesn't have Protect, which most Thunderouses do not rock. Protect. And we should be thriving. And I do, don't think he has it. I think he has the electric move, the brick break. He has all that good stuff. But Zassian's going to end up protecting. He's going to try to waste out these trick room turns. He turns his should go next. Yep. And he turns his is just going to take out this Thunder. So solid first battle going on here. He's going the distance. This guy's protecting a little bit. But we're taking a nice little control. We still have our Urshfu in the back, which is huge. And Zassian's kind of a little low. But he, he just wanted to waste out this Tailwind turn. He really just wanted to waste out this Tailwind turn. So at this point, I might protect my Eternatus. It really depends who he brings out here. Because he's looking to get off some big old damage here. Let's see who he brings out. His final Pokemon is going to be... Bum -ba -da -bum, Regilecki. So Reggie comes out here. And uh, I'm not really too scared of Regilecki. I'm not even going to lie. You know what? I'm just going to protect. I'm going to protect you. And I'm going to go for the KO onto the uh, Zacian. Looking for the KO onto the Zacian. Let's see what he does. Because if I had to guess, Zacian, I'm probably going to drop a player off across to the other side onto my Eternatus or I think he's just gonna maybe double down he might e-web and get after that Pokemon let's see but if as long as my Dialga survives which I think he should he's plus two on defense and plus one on special defense I think we should be thriving I think this battle should be good for us but you guys know I gotta play this battle out because half the time when I say like oh the battle's in the bag I lose that battle so battle is not in the bag but it's I'm feeling good about it I'm feeling good about it but we protect our lovely dragon and poison guy and he's going to E-Web. And I, I think he, this is what he's doing. I think he's E-Webbing and doubling down on my turns this year. So we soak up with Diago. Diago's just a soak right now. He's just a sponge. Just an absolute sponge. He's going to go for close combat into my Diago. And that's real rough for us. That is real rough for us. That is the definition of that. Right there. That's real rough. That is real rough. This thing's rocking close combat. So his defense is down. We have to hit this guy. Uh, do I go for an Aqua Jet? What do I do? I still have my Focus Ash. Still have my Focus Ash. Oh, this is tough. This is real tough. I think I it's asking my Protect. Oh, what do I want to do? This is tough. Uh, I definitely want to get after that Zassian. But at the same time, it's tough. I'm going to drop a Sludge Bomb here. Just for the fact is we might get a Poison. I think I just certain strikes into this thing. But I can hit through protect anyway, so he's gonna e-web. And wow, this is some. This is this is looking a little tough for us. I do not like this. I think we lose this battle. I think we lose this battle. This is no good. Behemoth Blade comes across. This is no good. This is no good. We lost this battle, didn't we? Unless we eat this. We lost this battle. No way we lose this battle. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We lost this battle. You guys got to let me know in the comment section down below. Did I go wrong anywhere? Probably, I think, where I went wrong was protecting that Eternatus there. I should have just kept the pressure on, right? Probably should have kept the pressure on. But we rip through Zassi and we take him out. Ah, uh, yeah, we lose this battle, right? Unless E-Web misses. Unless whatever movie he's rocking with misses. And we're going to have to go for a Surge of Strikes just in case this Pokemon is Focus Ash. So, let's do it. Let's do it. E-Web comes through, and it connects. That's GG's. Yeah, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below where I went wrong. I think I shouldn't have protected my Eternatus and just kept the pressure on. Solid first battle, but your boy ended up making a mistake and losing in battle number one. But it's all good. We're hopping into our second battle, looking to grab ourselves our first win, and we got a problem here. We're going up against another top-tier meta team. He's got Zacian. He's got Groudon, Charizard, Incineroar, Gastrodon, and Grimmsnarl. So heavy weather that we cannot really counter. How should I go into this? Tailwind's definitely going to have to be a factor here. Here, We're going to definitely need some speed. We're going to have to uh, get buzzer from there. So I'm going to lead you alongside with... Wait, do you have Protect? 
I think you have protect, right? You do indeed. Beautiful. So Wimscott does have protect. So we're gonna lead Wimscott alongside with I think the Alga again. I think the Alga is just a solid call all around. I really do like the Alga. My problem is going to be that Groudon. Groudon, I mean, I do not like. I do not like. But I'm going to still lead to the Alga and get rolling with that. So there, I'm going to bring you in the back end. Just for a little bit of Intimidate factor. And I think Eternatus at this point. Eternatus. I could go in with Urshfu. Urshfu is not bad. Over the Eternatus might be our call. Could definitely be our call. I'm kind of leaning towards it. Just because we have that focus action, if we can get rid of weather, it could be nice. Could definitely be nice. Do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do it? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's roll into it. Let's see if we can grab ourselves a win here in battle. Number two, we're going to leave Eternatus on the side and hopefully grab ourselves this win. I, I, you guys know the deal. I do not like to go into battle number three. Oh, and two. That's just a tough scene. That's a tough scene because I cannot go 0 3. Never been 0 3 on recording. I did lose three in a row before, but never on recording. Never on recording. That's that's my that's my whole thing. I have like 500 Pokemon videos, and we don't go 0-3 in them. So he's gonna end up going Charizard and Incineroar. Okay, uh, I just think it's an easy Dynamax for me. Dynamax protects protect Whimsy. Dynamax protect Whimsy and go for Quake for a special defense boost. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. I am digging it. So yeah, protect you. Do this. I could I could drop a thunder. But I think the special defense boost could be lovely for us. Because thunder will not KO that uh G Max Charizard. So I'm just gonna go for this quake. I'm gonna try to get rid of this Incineroar. Get some big old damage off onto this thing. And hopefully he's faking out onto my Wimscott slot. He could swap it to the ground on. He could swap it to the ground, but I don't see that happen. I see him either parting shotting or going for the fake out. And I think the fake out is going to be the option. So he's gonna Dynamax Charizard, or I should say Gigantamax Charizard. Because, you know, nobody uses regular Charizard anymore. <laughs> like, who would use it when you have Gigantamax Charizard? Look at this thing. This thing's an absolute menace. It has the best Gigantamax move in all of Pokemon. I think all Pokemon. This might be the best move in all of Pokemon. This move is insanely strong. So he's going to Dynamax him. I'm getting after it, too. I said, hey, yo. I, I, I came to compete today. I'm going to Dynamax my boy. I'm going to take a sip of water because it's about to get a little heated in this, in this battle arena. Not just any water. I put a little bit of like Mio Splash in it. A little grape. I love me some artificial grape flavoring. I don't know why. That and artificial cherry flavoring. I love it. I love it. But he's going to end up going for... Let's see. I protect. Go for the fake out in the Whimsy, please. Fake out my Whimsy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He goes for the fake out in my Whimsy. We get the big old block. He's going to end up going for a Wildfire. Probably in the Whimsy. Try to take him out. And Whimsy should be able to soak this up pretty well, right? Yeah, thank you. So we can Tailwind next turn. We can get rolling from there. He is going to start chipping away on damage with us, which is no bueno. But Quake's going to fly through. And of course, this thing's Shookaberry. Of course, this lovely little Pokemon Shookaberry. Of course, he's Shookaberry. So we go for the Quake. We are going to get the Special Defense boost, but the Shookaberry helps him soak. Helps the boy soak. So we get that nice special defense boost. I can now Tailwind set up where I can. Oh, I could Encore. Actually, we cannot use Dark type. Prankster does not work on Dark type. Dang, dude. Encore would have been a beautiful turn for us. Encore definitely would have been a beautiful turn for us. So we could go for an Airstream, which I think he's going to start doing. To get that speed boost. So we're just going to Tailwind up. And is he going to party shot? Is he going to party shot? Or is he just going to hard swap? Who does he have in the back end? I think Quake would still be a solid turn, right? I think Quake would still be a solid turn for us. So, you know, I'm just going to drop a Quake here. A good call for us. We're going to Tailwind up here. We're going to take a little bit of speed here. Good call for us to go into this Quake. We're going to go next. We're going to grab another Special Defense boost, which is huge. And more importantly, we get rid of Incineroar. So, good thing I checked this team. Because if I didn't check his team, I probably wouldn't have went for the Quake. I would have went for the Lightning. Because I was looking at his team. I was like, who's he really going to swap into that's going to eat this up? If he swaps into Zassian, it's going to be a super effective shot. Um... If he swaps into Groudon, I mean, Groudon probably would have been his best option, but I just didn't see that happening. But uh, he's going to go for an Airstream here and take out my Wimscott. So he's going to get speed plus one, and he's definitely bringing out Groudon here. So the real question is, do I save my Urshifu for the back end and bring out my, uh, and bring out my Salamence? That might be my call, because bring out the Groudon here, right? He's got to be bringing out the Groudon. He's got to be bringing out the Groudon at this point. And at that point, I could go for Fire Fang. I do have White Herb. I really want Urshifu, though. That's my problem. It's just like, mm. 
the heat with our shoe is just no good. So, you know, I'm bringing a Salamence. He's got to be, be bringing out Groudon for the, the solar power action here. It's got to be the play. It's got to be the play. So, we bring out Salamence for the Intimidate, and he's going to throw out. Bum, 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 Groudon. Okay. Nice little call by us. We get this Intimidate off on this thing. It could be White Herb. A lot of them are herbed as of recently. And I'm hoping it's not, because I'd rather just have this minus one onto him. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. He's not White Herb, and he's going to set this Drought. This is a lovely little drought, which will make my Fire Fang do a bit more damage. But at this point, I'm just going to Fire Fang you. Try to get off a burn, right? There's a chance of a burn with that. Let's see. I believe there is. Fire Fang. There's a chance of a burn. I'm going for it. We're, going, we're, we, we're looking for the burn. And then, uh, do I Lightning get off some nice damage on the Char? I'm kind of leaning towards it. Yeah, I got to get off as much damage as I can onto this onto this beast of a Pokemon. So he's going to end up with strong ground on. And he's going to swap into here. Who are you swapping into? Zassy's gonna come out here. Hitting him with a nice little Fire Fang. Yo, give me a burn on this thing. Give me a burn onto that thing. Fire Fang comes out here. No shot. No shot he dodges that. No shot he dodges that. But my boy, the Alga, is coming in hot. Coming in hot. Wow, if I would have known Lightning would have taken him out, I would have taken him out 10 years ago. 10 turns ago. That is that is ridiculous right there. I do not like that. Not, I do not. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. How my not? I, I even looked at the accuracy. My 95 accuracy Fire Fang is not picking up the KO. We're not even. Not. It's not even hitting. We we need it to hit. That would've been a great hit. Whew. All right, we gotta breathe here. We have Tailwind, so speed isn't on our side a little bit. I mean, Zacian might be faster, but it's on our side just a little bit. Hmm. So what's my play? What's my play call here? Uh, I kind of want to swap the the Salamence. Just so I can get Intimidate off in a little bit again. That might be my play. Because Intimidate's going to work wonders. Intimidate is definitely going to be nice. How many turns is left in a Wildfire? Oh my god, look at everything that's going on. Harsh Sunlight, Terrain, Tailwind, and Wildfire. <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, but from here, yeah, I think I, I really want to swap. But how many... I gotta see how many turns left in Tailwind. We have two. I'm just gonna Fire Fang. I think I gotta get after that. Actually, let me see your speed first, Salamence. You're gonna outspeed the Zassian. Oh, 100%. Okay, so he's gonna outspeed the Zassian. That's beautiful. So we'll do that. Fire Fang into that slot. I could EP. I could double down, but more time's looking real good. Hmm. We go for Steel Beam, too. What I wanna do? And I feel like you take me out. I really do feel like this Groudon just takes me out here. We'll see. Fire Fangs can come through here. Nah, 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 no, 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 no way, no way, we miss not one Fire Fang, two Fire Fangs, then a Roar Time, and then he crits with his Stone Edge, nah, 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 I'm not about it, I'm not about it, this game is out to get me today, this game is out to get me today, no doubt in my mind it's out to get me today, it's over. I can't do anything about this. What do, what do I do? It's over. I'm going to run this battle, and now I got to hop into the third battle and grab herself a win. That is ridiculous. That might have been the worst RNG I had in this game in the past year. That was god awful. Back to back Fire Fang misses. We missed our, uh, what was our, War of Time, and then he gets a crit on the Stone Edge all in the same turn. All in the same turn. That was absolutely wild. But now we're sitting 0 2. Had two solid battles, which, which, we definitely could have won both of them, but now we have to win this battle in the third and final one. But he has the uh, Regigigas squad over here. Regigigas making me want to lead Eternatus over here because Eternatus with Dynamax Cannon. Like, say he leads Regigigas, Dynamax Cannon could just rip right through it. Because we know he's going to Dynamax it. So I'm going to go Eternatus as my lead. I'm also going to be bringing... Uh, do I bring Wimscott as a lead? I could definitely lead Wimscott and take some speed. Just some lovely speed. The speed could be good for us. Or I can just go into like a Pokemon like Salamence. Maybe just Dynamax and take speed that way. That's looking really good. I'm kind of leaning towards that. 
So, you know, I'm going to go Salamence. I'm going to go Eternatus. And I'm going to bring the Alga in the back end alongside with Urshi, 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 Urshi. Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. We're 0 2. We're 0 2. We have to win this one. I'm promising you guys a victory here. Promising you guys a victory. Genes don't break promises. That's my, that's my one thing. In any any aspect of life, I do not break a promise. So I'm promising you guys here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bump. Let's groove tonight. Dun, dun, dun. It's Friday. It's Friday, so I'm ready to get my boogie on. We should end up leading Reggie. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted, dog. Just what I wanted. Okay, um, our only problem here is uh, he does rock Will-O-Wisp. He does rock Will-O-Wisp with that Pokemon right there, leading me not to want a Dynamax. But I'm a big baller, and I might Dynamax anyway. <laughs> I might just Dynamax anyway. Do I go into the Knuckle? Just that lovely attack boost? Because he, he's definitely Dynamax. Right? Yeah, I'm a big baller. I'm a big baller. We're going to Dynamax. We're going to Dynamax. He's, he's going to miss his Will-O-Wisp anyway. He ain't like that. He ain't like that. And there's a Dynamax. Exactly what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. That's by far what we wanted. So he ends up leading the Regigigas and doing exactly what we uh what we kind of saw from the beginning. He goes into the Regigigas squad. He's gonna get rolling from that. And I'm gonna Dynamax this thing. I did not end up going for a airstream, but I feel like at this point, if we can land a Dynamax cannon and a Max Knuckle, I think this should this should chip up a good amount of damage to take him out, right? If not, this thing is bulky. This thing is bulky at that point. So let's see how this one plays out. So nice little Dynamax. Nice little bit Dynamax. Our uh, return to should be fastest on the field, right? He's gonna protect. Ooh, we like that. We like that. All right? Do you go first return to us? You do indeed. Dynamax cannon coming in hot. Coming in hot. So we predicted this Dynamax should be able to do a nice little nice little chunk of damage. Life orb, stab, double. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. He's gonna end up going for a max strike. We should be able to eat this up, no problem. And he goes into Salamence. And Salamence is able to eat. Okay, so that's a solid, that's a solid little eat skis there. He's gonna drop our speed a little bit, which is okay. And we're gonna get we're gonna get going from here. Because Max Knuckle 100 percent takes this Pokemon out. And our herb is back. That is actually a great white herb. Because next turn we can go for an airstream and keep her speed. So beautiful. Max Uncle comes through there. Bang. See you later, Regigigas. His Dynamax is over. We uh we end up going plus one on attack. So that's a solid turn. That's a solid turn. I do indeed like that Dynamax. Granted, I could have went in the Urshfu at that point. But I feel like if I went in the Urshfu, we probably wouldn't have Dynamaxed. Right? Seeing an Eternatus and a uh Urshfu on the field. Would have been tough. But we have Urshfu in the back end. Hopefully my Salamence can outspeed whatever he throws out here. And it cannot. It cannot. It simply does not. It simply does not. So Flamethrower is going to poke here. I think I'm just going to guard this turn. I do not have guard. So uh, I guess we'll Airstream. I guess we'll Airstream looking to get off some damage. But we do not have guard, which is real rough. Super rough. It might, do as, it might do as good because he's probably sitting here thinking that we might protect. So let's see what he does. He goes for Behemoth Blade. And that takes out my Salamence. So Salamence is calling. Bye, Salamence. Thanks for popping out. Thanks for having some fun. The Salamence is dead. Yeah, so yeah, that's my problem. That's, I really want to guard that turn. I really did want to guard it. And we're just going to drop a flamethrower now. Chip up some damage onto this acid and hopefully get a burn. We can get some RNG on our side, considering we lost every single RNG thing last battle. That would be, that'll be lovely. So flamethrower comes through here. Chipping up some damage. Give me the burn. Throw it to me. Throw it to me. Throw me the burn! We do not get the burn. And Will-O-Wisp flies. Okay, we're special attacker. That's totally fine. Okay, at this point... What's called? It's got to come out of here. Urshfu? All right, we just got to roll in the Urshfu. Aqua Jet. Sounding pretty nice. Looking pretty good. I dig it. Aqua Jet for the KO. And then, uh, get after this little booger right here. This, this, this little, this little wheezing over here. <laughs> this little wheezing that we don't want to deal with. So we'll sludge bomb the wheezing. And then I'll just Aqua Jet straight in this. Which should be able to pick up the KO. Should be able to pick up a KO. Urshfu, if you do not pick up this KO, I will never use you again. Aqua Jet coming hot. Let's go. Let's go, Urshifu. Love it. Big time KO on his ass in. That's huge. Sludge Bomb's going to fly here. Give me a poison here as well. That's a big damage. Give me the poison. Give me the poison. Just to KO it. You do not get the poison. He will it with me again. Aqua Jet will be able to take that out. And now I'm just I'm, I'm just chilling here. <laughs> I'm just chilling here. I still have Dialga in the back, which is beautiful. But we're sitting pretty here. He's probably going to... He might actually protect that Weezing. I honestly might double down into whatever Pokemon he has. It really depends who he brings out here. Who are you going to bring out as your final Lomon? 
He's gonna show his final little mod and it is going to be a little scary, dude. A little scary guy. This guy's definitely scary. And yo, he, he does not set the rain. That's huge. He does not set the rain. You know, I'm doubling down into this thing. I'm not worried about that weasel. I'm getting after this thing. I'm getting after this thing. He just canceled battle. Beautiful. I promise you guys a victory. And we got it. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. We ended up going one and two, grabbing ourselves a losing record, but more importantly, grabbing ourselves a win in that third and final battle. The first battle, we definitely could have won. I definitely made a mistake by protecting that Eternatus. And second battle, come on, yo. Cannot blame me for that. RNG totally did us dirty. But then third and final battle, I made you guys a promise of a victory. That's exactly what we did. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.